Recently, I started losing hair, which means that Asmongold videos got recommended to me. And while I was reacting to his reactions of other YouTubers reacting to stuff, I realized that the general sentiment is that the video games have become worse and that nothing is like in the good old times. And I'm here to tell you that I think that, that is a boomer take and even though I do not blame you for having that opinion, I strongly disagree with it and would like to tell you why as well as recommend you some video games to enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into the arguments. One argument I will not be using is that people like video games because they return them to the time when they were a kid and that is when they were happy because I think that it is incredibly reductive to the conversation and if you feel that way that is completely fine but this video is not aimed at you. The arguments are for people who generally believe that gaming is in a worse place than it was 10, 20 or 30 years ago and that there are no good games to play. If that is you or if you would just like your biases confirmed, well sit back, relax and let's get into it. What I feel is the main misunderstanding driving all of the arguments that I've heard about this is that people think that AAA gaming right now is the same as AAA gaming 20 years ago. If we take a look at the AAA game from 2011 in Witcher 2, we will see that it costs 10 million to make. And nowadays an average AAA game costs about 80 million and you can see some recent examples such as Forspoken costing about 100 million. That generally means that investors are investing way more money into these games so they monetize very aggressively in order to be able to make what they invest back. And this has been the argument that I've heard made so many times. Besides the average, the judge don't make them like they used to bro. But what people often forget to mention is that just because there is another layer on top of everything, it doesn't mean that what we had before disappeared. The only difference is that those games are not called high budget games anymore, they are just called mid budget games. And there's also many indie games that are made on way smaller budget but with more advanced tools that would be able to be on par with many of the older games that we all love. So while we did lose games like Battlefield or Halo in this transition, we got games like Rocket League, Insurgency, Truckmania, games that you can play for hundreds and hundreds of hours just like you could play Halo before. And these are not some small games that nobody plays, there's a lot of people playing these games every day. With a huge paradigm shift in terms of how much money is needed to make the game, we just are not the target audience for these games anymore. They are made to appeal to the widest possible public while the gamer rise up needs to go and look a bit deeper in order to find these satisfying experiences outside of some big AAA studios that still focus on us like FromSoft. If you hate the state of the industry right now, then go out and find those studios that make huge risks, go find those studios that have mid budgets that make the games for you and not the games for everybody. As long as you still love games, there are still games that love you. Before I wrap the video up and start recommending you guys some games, there is another demographic of gamers who are maybe a bit more lost the time that I would like to address. If you're one of those people who really crave going to the store, picking up a random game before, when nothing was standardized, you had no idea what to expect when you picked it up from the bin, and gaming was a wild, wild west, before everything got kinda homogenized and we figured out which conventions we wanna use for everything, then I will have to suggest going into another industry that is also in its infancy, just like gaming was in its infancy back then. Of course I am talking about virtual reality. We tend to hate it because out of touch lizard CEOs, but VR enthusiasts right now are living through what the gaming enthusiasts lived through 30 years ago. You can just go to Steam or the Oculus Store and find games that are so outlandish that make absolutely no sense that nobody will ever remember except maybe you and the developer and you will be able to test all of them out and see how industry evolves and how everything works when the budgets are tight before the corporate greed really comes in. Of course there is still that in VR, there is a lot of it as we know, but there are so many indie studios trying to make the next big thing and trying to play through all of those games can really be special. And then you can really be a part of the wave of people who discover the next scale or the next big thing that we will be talking about how it got ruined in 20 years when we are even bigger boomers. And with that out of the way, I would like to recommend you some relatively recent games that are absolutely amazing and that are not AAA. For starters, of course, if you prefer video recommendations to lists, go and watch my Ultra Kill review from a few days ago. Yes, yes, it is very good. Or my Mortal Sin video from a few days ago, both are great games that you can start with. But if you would like a long ass list, you're gonna get a long ass list, so strap in. Uh -uh. Outer Wilds, Chain Echoes, Pizza Tower, Squad, Rust, 
Final Fantasy XIV, Mount Templates 2, Blasphemous, Celeste, Ultra Kill, and Mortal Sin. Watch my reviews! Insurgency Sandstorm, Guilty Gear Exard or Strive, Ghost Runner, Metal Hellsinger, Sea of Thieves, Civilization 5 or 6, Overcooked 2, Euro Truck Simulator, Ready or Not, Half Life Alex, Black Mesa, Hitman World of Assassination, New Dead Space, FromSoft Games, Hi Fi Rush, Beam and G Drive, Devil May Cry 5, Compound VR, V Rising or Valheim, Vampire Survivors, Darkwood, Dead Cells, Slay the Spire, Deep Rock Galactic, Don't Starve, Neon White, Yakuza Games, One Step from Eden, Path of Exile, Eternal, Rocket League, Signalis, Trade, Doom, Eternal, or 2016, God of War, Rimworld, War Fortress, Frostpunk, Noita, Hades, Personas, Resident Evil Remake, Satisfactory, No Man's Sky, Forest, The Ascent, Divinity 1 and 2, Beat Saber, Subnautica. I think that's enough. Smash that like button so that I can afford an asthma killer. Jokes aside, I can literally go on with the games, but I think that I've made my point. These are all relatively recent games, and these are all games that don't have big budgets, with maybe a few exceptions. And the way that I found them is I made a new Steam account and just opened the sale and saw what was there. As long as you know where to look, as long as you can figure out what the community likes, you can always find amazing games that will be right for you. Maybe even it's not a genre that you played before, but a lack of games is a much smaller issue than it was before. Of course, if you're an MMO gamer, nothing that I've said in this video counts and you're doomed. So anyways, yeah, this topic has been contributing to my hair loss recently. Thank you very much for listening to me vent, thank you for watching, like my video and I'll see you next time.